so I've made my way down to a place called Rabness. It's um, right on the border um, between Suffolk and Essex and um, somewhere I haven't been before so uh, with a camera it will be a bit of a bit of a recce, a bit of a, a scouting mission um, you know with the hope of coming back when the conditions might be a little bit more favourable. I did have a quick look on the forecast before I went and um, there's quite a lot of high cloud cover uh, so hopefully those clouds will will sort of light up as the, as the sun sets this evening, um, but we'll see. As I say, you know, hoping to uh, potentially sort of find some good compositions, um, you know, scenes I can, I can come back to. So I've already been here about 15 minutes, I'd say. Um, just having a bit of a wander around and um, what I can see over the other side of this um, little stream that's running alongside here is um, what looks to be like an abandoned boat. Those sort of old kind of abandoned boats make for sort of really great sort of foreground interest. Um, you know and, and kind of adds a real sort of interest to the scene. So I'm just going to have a, a little wander over there and just uh, check it out. I think I found um, quite an quite a interesting composition um, and admittedly uh, this is uh, a, sort of a particular location that I did scout out uh, before coming here actually and um, had a quick look on, on Google Maps and um, sort of had a bit of a zoom into where I could walk and it, it did look like there was a um, some kind of boat, some kind of uh, sort of wreckage and um, it did indeed be the case. Um, so I'll show you what I've got on the back of the camera. Um, as I say it's, it's uh, you know the conditions aren't, aren't perfect um, but um, you know, definitely somewhere to uh, to check out and, and come back to um, another time. So as you can see, the the boat on the right there, um, you know, quite a quite an interesting shape actually. And um, just to the left, um, what is quite interesting, and I think what makes the scene what it is, is one solitary tree, which I think is is quite unusual, um, particularly on the on the salt marshes. Um, in this area, um, just to have one tree that that stands out, um, you know. So, I think together it makes quite an interesting composition. On the back of the camera here, uh, I'll just run you through uh, my settings. So, um, it is there is a bit of wind about, um, so I have uh, stopped down to uh, one one hundredth of a second, um, just to to freeze the motion in in the leaves. Um, and with that I've got uh, an aperture of f9 um, and an ISO of 100. So literally um, about 100, 100 yards away from where I was um, with the boat just now, um, I've, I've come across quite an interesting scene as I was sort of walking up. Uh, I noticed this sort of creek in, in the middle of the marsh uh, that goes out to the sea. And, um, you know, the interesting thing about these creeks, you know, particularly in sort of Suffolk and Norfolk, is that they sort of create really great uh, leading lines um, that, that really adds uh, an interest to, to the foreground. Um, what has sort of struck me with this scene um, has been all the, the new shoots that are coming through. I think just adds uh, another interesting element to, to the photo.
finally got down to the shoreline and uh, just walking along the beach and just uh, keeping an eye open for, for any compositions really. Um, I'd say from a sort of photographic point of view, um, there isn't a great deal on, on this part of, um, of the beach. Um, but uh, I, I just passed some, some interesting beach huts, which might make for, for, for an interesting uh, image. Um, some of them are, are quite sort of photogenic. So I'm just going to continue walking up here for, for a little bit longer um, and see what's, what's here um, and then probably head back. And upon walking back, uh, I did actually find an interesting shot with these really great beach huts positioned right in front of the long grass. So you can probably see behind me that we're getting some lovely evening light now. Uh, the light's getting really, really golden. So what I'm gonna do now is, is head back to that original composition that I had and um, probably just wait there until uh, the sun does set. Um, conditions are looking really good though. Uh, lovely, lovely light coming through now. Um, yeah, it's actually sort of turned out to be quite a, quite a nice evening. So quite nice, unexpected surprise. You know, one thing I do really sort of like about this this time of year is, um, you know, in these these salt marshes, the the sea lavender really comes out. As I'm I'm filming this in in July, um, you know, the the sea lavender is you know starting to come out, and um, it really does you know transform this this whole uh, stretch of the coastline. In the composition that I that I do have, there is there is sea lavender. Um, in, in the in the immediate foreground but it's it's really hard for it to, to sort of show up on 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 the screen and in the photo um, because it is kind of sparsely sparsely populated I have sort of had a look around and, and had, uh, had a look as to whether I could include some of the sea lavender in, in this composition and um, unfortunately it doesn't doesn't really work um, I think it probably uh, complicates the scene a little bit too much um, whereas I think the beauty of, of this composition is that it is quite simplistic uh, there is a, an obvious um, subject. Often there is the case in photography to just cram in as much as you can um, when often you need to kind of take elements out um, and just have a, a really simple image which um, I'm always sort of striving to, to get and go for. The sun is just about setting, so you're probably seeing the, the best of the, of the sun just, just about going away, but I um, hope you enjoyed watching. Um, and yeah, it's definitely a location that I think I'll, I'll come back to. Um, I'm not sure when, but um, at least I know um, the area um, better than I did. Um, and I know there are compositions to be found down here. Um, I think considering it's you know, about a half an hour drive from, from home. So um, it's, it's a good location to have in the locker. Um, I think sort of the conditions to go back here probably is um, more sort of dramatic weather. So, um, you know, I can imagine this scene with sort of some stormy clouds above, above it, um, you know, just because I think it will really sort of complement what is actually in the scene. And that's it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.